God dang, it's bright out here. You know what? I'm gonna order me some of them heat wave sunglasses off CletusMcFarland.com. There they are. Wait, express, 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 express delivery. They're gonna need it. Order placed. Wonder how long it's gonna take. All right, looks like we got an order for some heat waves. Oh, express, express, express delivery, Utah. We gotta make this fast. What's that? Whoa, no way that could be my glasses. Whoa, sweet, no way, dude. Cletus McFarland heat waves. Man, that was fast. They must use ShipStation. Guys, today's video is sponsored by ShipStation. Shipping can make or break a sale. Back in my early days when I was shipping out of my college bedroom, and I remember waking up with hundreds of emails and I had an absolute disaster on my hands. Well, things are much smoother nowadays and ShipStation can help you optimize your business so you don't end up in a disaster like I did. Whether you're shipping hundreds of orders a month or thousands of orders a month, ShipStation helps you automate those routine shipping tasks that take a ton of time. Heck, that's why the Cleese and Fallen Warehouse has been on ShipStation for years. You can manage orders, print labels, check inventory, compare rates, handle returns, and optimize every shipment right from the ShipStation dashboard. ShipStation is the most affordable way to ship everything you sell online. No wonder over 130,000 e-commerce businesses, including mine, have used ShipStation to grow their business. And 98% of those businesses that stick with ShipStation for more than a year become customers for life. And right now, guys, you can get a free 60-day trial with ShipStation by just visiting ShipStation.com slash Cletus. Thanks to ShipStation station for sponsoring today's video let's get to the live action all right guys our cab swap is complete the big blocks in and we're ready to go let's see if it fires up i got nothing squirrel what oh damn cleaner i forgot to put the engine in squirrel guys welcome back to the cleat and squirrels abandoned car restoration automotive.com today we're gonna be working on the square body we got a lot of work to do let's get to it hell yeah brother you're on the please me on youtube channel all right, well guys, you saw the rollback video. We're gonna need that big block now for that project. So what just so happened to work out is the big block didn't fit really well in Thunder, our Australian Ute. So what does fit well is this LS engine that we have from Texas Speed. This engine was actually for Rocket, the 240 drift car, but we decided it's getting recommissioned to go into Thunder, which should make your job a little easier, huh? Yeah, it's a bolt in deal. Especially his job. That Way boy, easier. That boy's about to do a lot of fabricating to make the big block fit because there really wasn't a great option for us to do front sump on the big block. On this deal, you can see we have a front sump oil pan on it. So, you know, this is the front of the engine. Looks like it's the back because of this oil pan. But we can easily do a front sump setup on this, which should hopefully slide right into this gaping hole <laughs> and make this build way easier than it was gonna be with the big block. And then we have a big block for the rollback. So you gonna stuff it in there real quick? Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, test fit it real quick and see. The, uh, test fit. The internet says that GTO and C5 Corvettes have the same upper mounts. Yeah. And being that this is a GTO subframe in this, we oh, had a set uh, of C5 work. mounts. It does right Oh, it does, definitely looks right. just like a Corvette. Oh, I got the motor. I was like, there's no way. <laughs> so, it's so weird with that keep, oil pan like that. When the keyboard guys try to be mechanics. <laughs> oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Come on, man. 6 a.m. No need to fire shots that early. Listen, George and I are going to go out in the parking lot and show you what a real mechanic This would have been done already. Watch the paint. Oh, I would. It's about oh, to be nice, done. dude. Nice, fresh scratch on her. Uh, you guys use a uh, engine hoist? Yeah, we only use forklifts. Oh man! Well, this is looking this is a lot looking, better than a big block. <laughs> a lot easier. I mean, well, not better because big blocks are superior to all other engines, but a lot easier. <laughs> oh, Golly, <Please>. smooth fingers! <laughs> Old Jack Stan smooth Those fingers. Same here. Dudes you used to hand launch RC planes with? <laughs> Absolutely, dude. There you, you go. Pull up. Jeez, Louise, dude. <laughs> All right, that's way better. Really yeah. got her. Fits right down through that hole, that's for sure. So, Ty, you just walk that out a little bit, you yeah. good? Yeah, yeah, I'll read the holes out. You look at all the clearance you have for headers. It's way better than cutting the whole front of this truck off there and starting over. Your life just got a lot easier. Yeah. 
I, I was a little worried when you were dead set on a big block. I was yeah. like, whew. All right, so we've got an LS in Thunder, but I think we should hit the parking lot where the real work is happening today. Yeah, guys, we would let Zach work on this, but we don't have months to get it done. We don't literally have six months to finish it, so we can't let him work on it. <laughs> Full in here. I guess we'll do it in the parking lot. Like real mechanics. All right. Oh, there goes our boy Doug and his black wing. Fire this thing off real quick for me. Oh, yeah. She doesn't even need brake clean. I'll turn the key on. If you breathe on that power wire, it's going to start. Oh, ah. I got greedy with Hold it. on, hold on. Let me give her a... You bow, you bow. Ow! Oh. Go ahead. Uh -oh. I'm screwed up. Sometimes you just gotta jiggle it. Oh. Yep, yep. Okay, huh. you're probably gonna have to put the jump box on the starter. Oh! Golly. All right. <laughs> you ain't gotta do nothing to You just had to breathe on that starter. <laughs> Hit it again. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We don't have gas hooked oh, up to it. Oh, <laughs> Squirrel, get the gas. Shut up, Zach. <laughs> it runs so good, it fired up. With now we gas. lost our prime. Let me get some brake clean. It'll come right back, though. Sick of this peanut gallery in here. Fired right up. Let's breathe on it again. <laughs> Oh, we might have heard her on that long haul yesterday. Yeah, running like a top, baby. <laughs> oh. One more good one. How about now? <laughs> oh, watch out for Rodney. Watch out for Rodney, dude. <laughs> Did I hit it? No, you didn't actually. Wow. Thank so God. Good on this thing. <laughs> yeah, that. I want to put on our list. Brakes. Look at. Hey, honey, come here. You know the other truck also has six brand new tires on it. I know. We're gonna save so much. Total budget we have for this build is just what we have here at the shop. No extra money. So nothing extra. Maddie, what do you think of our build? It, I literally thought Freddy Krueger was in that. <laughs> hey. It looks so scary. Sweet. I didn't see your Come back face. in a week or two. She's gonna look dialed. Hey squirrel! Yo. I just heard Brent's trying to go back to Colorado. Why? No, dude. <laughs> no, no, you're here to stay. <laughs> we, we're doing a cab swap. You're just gonna leave town. On us? I mean, if you need me, I guess. Yeah, we need you, know? you dude. Well, I guess I can figure it out. <laughs> you can't Show leave Florida. <laughs> yeah, we got him right here. <laughs> you guys are good. We got him. <laughs> what do we have to undo to pull off this cab swap? I mean, uh, <laughs> all of it. You know, they're Everything. actually not too bad. I've done these before. Oh, see how good this is working out? We don't know what we're yeah, doing on this. Yeah, we just yeah. need your positivity. That's it. A lot of rust. First bolt has been a struggle. I'll go ahead and tell you. Well, so. we're going to need some, maybe some blaster. All right. Sounds good. Well, let's get to it. Let me get the forklift over here and we'll put some put upper some vertical on. tension on the yeah. cap. And then we can see what the bolts are doing. We might be able to just torch them puppies. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. You got to pick up on it? Pick up on the cab from the top. Uh, probably. Bro, who is messing with all my friends? Oh! <laughs> Why do the brakes work on nothing that we have? <laughs> Dude. I'm so sick of this brakes issue. If you did that to the good cab, I would just start walking. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. I'm going to Key West for a week. Put a little pressure on her, dude. There you go. All right, here we go. Might be a little rusty. Oh, it came right oh, out. Oh, dude. Came right out. I knew it was just that one bolt. 
Sam, cab stops are easy. Bro. They didn't budge now. All right, so now oh, here by the bumper. Let's go. Have on. How many cab bolts are there? Probably six. Oh, I got. You know how many cab bolts are on these, Sam? Supposed to be six. I'm on the this size right here. Six. Okay. Two here, two and two. Okay. Now, George, do we even care about this radiator or any of that? I mean, we could just. We don't care about this booster or nothing, right? We just take it all off with this cap, man. Well, neither of them work. We got to redo everything. So I guess if we can just get these bolts out, we just rip this cab off yeah. and, and then work our way back. Minus the PTO. This is probably our PTO right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call on that. Yeah, everything else. The brakes will be different. Everything's going to be different. We'll all get right. some TBMs for it. Yeah, TBM brakes on the tow <laughs> the truck. monster truck ones. Yeah, I'll clip <laughs> that. Come on. Come on with it. Dude. Wow, rusty I mean, free. Hey, take those surprised. safety glasses off. We pull these rusty bolts out like yeah, men. You're right. Nice, dude. All right, you take over, bud. Yeah, let me, I want to hit a few. Oh, this one looks good. Uh, burn up the old Milwaukee. <laughs> that thing's in there good. Let me move to the back one. Oh, I got it. See it? Oh, this one looks clean. A little rusty. Oh, my. <laughs> There's so much <laughs> rust on the way, dude. Yeah, there is. There's just glass falling out on that side. Oh, that one looks a little rusty, dude. Titan. How about now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a big old bar for this, buddy. All right, get the breaker bar out. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Easy, easy. Hold on. All right, go. She's going. I am squirrel. <laughs> Holy. Oh, I think she just let loose. That wasn't a good kind of. Oh, there yeah, we go. That good. You broke the bolt. Broke the bolt. That's what we meant to do. We should unhook the steering wheel, too. There we go. Yeah, we got space now, buddy. We're really cooking. This side's up for sure. We may have to just put some tension on it and then back them out. Kind of pick it up and just drop it a couple times. Zaggy, come watch. Watch and learn, son. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. This one's not coming off. Now we can try to put some, put the hammer down on them. Dude, they're just spinning. Here, try that one. there bud i don't like having my head between a truck and a forklift i know while you're cutting it in half yeah it feels weird oh yeah another one down baby all right so we've got the one in the back that's right so we need three sawzall blades <laughs> and we're good no we only have three in the budget yeah, so we're gonna have to figure something out for this one. I'll put my fork under that rocker so we're picking up right by it. What do you think about that? I like it. You really gotta slam her up, I think. Pull those rusty threads out. There you go. Dang! 
Dang, GMC, dude. Strongest cab bolts in the planet. See the rocker just fold in? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, that's. she's got some pressure on her. Maybe now this will bring it off. <laughs> well, she's going to fall a lot when you when she lets go. Yeah, I'll bring it back down. All it. What we're gonna do now is move the cat or the uh, rollback back a little bit, the bed, so we can access that rear furthest back body mount. Hopefully, buzz it right in half. Since we know it'll fire right up, we know it runs incredible. So I just breathe on the key. Once I turn the key on, <laughs> clear. Middle of the video merch plug. You guys know on cleesmanfrawn.com, we're putting one random awesome RC vehicle in one random order every single day. And our winner from the 19th, we have Carl I from Tonesket, Washington. That's the double call, dude. We did our service. Yep. All right, Carl. So we're giving the last promo, though. It's the does everything. Yeah, probably so. In the 20th, we have Mally F. And all he bought was a sticker. And he won. He's from Elkins, Arkansas. Mally. Yes. Brother, you know what this call is about right now? Are you joking me? No, I'm not joking you, brother. You know exactly <laughs> what this phone man. call is about. Yeah. What in the world? <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up, Cleet? Dude, you know, not much is up right now. The What is up right now is you telling us if you're a land guy or an air guy. If you're ready to risk it, be the first one. Dude, you know how long I dreamed about this okay so it's well maybe 12 hours that's when i made the purchase but, okay 12 uh, hours of dreaming i'm air force Let's yes go. you want to go yeah. cub or are you going for the ac-130 i want, I want that ac-130 all right yeah yeah here's the deal here's the deal mally you have to film your first flight you have to film it and send it to us, okay? Very important. Okay. okay. Get yeah. someone to go with you. We want footage of your first flight. Guys, we got our first air vehicle going out to Mally from Arkansas. It's a big dog. Will you text me that video when you get her and you fly her, all right? Oh, yeah, we'll do. All right, thanks, buddy. So, guys, we have two 80-plus mile-an-hour fractions, a Cub with another Baja Ray right here, and then the last day will be the crazy. So... Hit up GleasonFrawn.com, place an order. You might get a call from us tomorrow. Honestly, if we're going to service these hydraulic rams, we might want to tilt the thing up. Tilt it up then. Man, it's working so good. That's crazy. Dude, service them, they're working perfectly fine. A little, little dirty, that ain't nothing. Much better. We're getting somewhere now. Yep. Dude, it's it. That's it. You're done. 
<laughs> it's done. You're done. It is done, bud. Let me just lift this baby right off of here. <laughs> that was so Shoot. good. We had the forklift set perfect. I know. Just a little bit of tension. So, uh, should I throw a strap through the calf? No, no, let's do it with the fork. All right. Probably put the forklift on the other side also. Oh yeah, she's unhooked, bud. <laughs> All right, now the brake lines are still hooked up to the cab the and the lower radiator hose. But other than that, other than those two things, that's literally it, right? That's it, yeah. A couple wires. A couple wires. Yep. There's just glass all over the place. It's gonna rip oh, right there. Yeah. <laughs> Well, let's, uh, all right, go back down. Let's see what's hooked up over here. Oh, the radiator. Stuck in the shroud. I'm sure we're not missing a radiator support bolt. No. I didn't say that. <laughs> that's, that's the spot, huh? <laughs> well. Go up. Yeah, there she goes. See? All right, all right. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, it was just rusty stuck in there. Go for it. Go for it, bud. Probably just, probably just floor it. You got your safety squints on. Yeah. Oh, the shifter. I forgot about that. The speedometer. We didn't take the speedo off. Yeah, but none of that we're going to be using out of this truck. No, that's true. But the PTO cable, we did we did not unhook. Oh, front wheel's off the ground. <laughs> hit Rodney. Definitely hit Rodney. <laughs> Yeah, what's holding it right now? So we forgot about the clutch line, the brake lines, the tire, the tire steering line, the air conditioning lines. Speedometer cable. Speedo cable. We also forgot about the PTO cable. And the wiring. We did uh, all the wiring. Saws all. We could saws all it. Yeah, I don't want to go under there. Though, really. No, same. Nice, nice, dude. Is that a heater hose or something? What is that? World's strongest air conditioned line. Hang on, let me cut that puppy. Oh, so this, this guy. Yeah, this guy right here, dude. That guy's pissing me off. Yeah, and he's just a little rubber fella. Well, and the PTO. All right, well, one thing we learned from this is we need a better strategy for picking up that cap. Agreed. This isn't the cleanest way to do it. <laughs> that was a strong yeah. right there, <laughs> Yeah, it is. Nice. Now, the PTO cord, you're probably still on hook. Figure out how. We're cutting that. That's all you gotta do to engage it and disengage it right there. She's a little cranked. All right, so what are we thinking? We just put this cab over there. We'll get that scrapped. And then we bring the other truck over here nice and close. And we can right. just do a little transfer. Yeah. But we gotta get this cleaned up. We got to rust -oleum the frame. Oh, we got to pull this engine out. Yeah, we do. We now, a big one in there. the question is, is this transmission the same as the other truck? Because that would really save us a lot of time and headache. I don't even know what that is. It's a granny gear force. I don't know, dude. It might be a three. That's a three banger. Really? No, no. Oh, no. It's one, a four two, banger. three, four. Reverse. Yeah, I mean, we're good. The same one as the other one. All right, so let's get this cab out of the way. Then we can assess, clean up our situation, see what we're looking at. We got to pull this whole drivetrain out. Yeah. And then we got to get that cab off. But we got to do that neatly. That's going to take a little yeah. more time than this. 
and take a look at what we got, and then we can decide what we got to do to make this thing right. Be good. These toolboxes, I'm already seeing rusted all the way through. They got to go. We're going to have to get some freshies. We're definitely going to want another fuel tank, too. That sucker is done for. You might have to go through the window again. Oh! Even like that, it looks like a great truck. You got it. <laughs> Good, baby. Where are you going with it? Over here. To the truck pile? Uh, I'll put you out of sight. Oh. Look at us go. Look at this. This is great. Success. So let's hold the drive shaft bolts, motor mount bolts, and golly, there's not much else we gotta do. Nope. Exhaust is already pre-cut. I saw that. <laughs> pre-cut by Mother Nature. The PTO, I think we should try and unbolt and leave here with the truck. Hey, you guys should come and look at the progress we got going back there. Oh! How much destruction we got. Look at this progress we got going in here. Yeah, we're almost done. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys almost done? Yeah, we're literally about to fire it back up. Oh, sweet. Damn, that looks really good in here. That just looks good in here. It's like race car motor. That's yeah. I just told them, I was like, this thing's like NASCAR. Looking. We should drag race it too a little bit. We should. Yeah. See what it runs. Oh, man, with that motion race works, billet cover. Oof. Shiny. Sucker looks clean, dude. Red, white, and blue is going hard. LS, I'll give LS is one thing. They look cool when they're done up. They do look Coyote cool. Coyote always looks kind of... Just man. Coyote, yeah. yeah. Well, gosh dang. Yep. George and I just got the PTO off. Look at that gear. Trans is flawless. Yeah. Brand new. That's crazy. So when you're moving this switch, is it just moving that gear? Yeah. Just moving that gear up and off of there. That's sick. It's pretty neat. It looks like it's in good shape. You know what they say? They don't make them like they used to. That's what they keep saying. All right. Well, we are ready to pull the motor and transmission. Papa John's delivery forklift on the way. I got you. Yep. Right here. Come on in. There you go. All right. Now I got to pull the motor mount bolts out. So just take a little weight off of it. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Are they moving? Yeah. Hang on. Hold it right there. All right. You got one out. Got one out. Okay. Ready? I mean, I'm ready, bro. Just don't let it fall on my arm. Go up a little bit. All right, hold up, hold up. Down a little bit. All right. All right. What's that, bud? It wasn't out. Hey, I'm proud. Get that thing out of there, bud. I mean, I will say. Definitely not how I would have done it. Wait, <laughs> this thing's been locked in here for 116 years. Oh, that time, that's right, that that clear. Oh, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pretty sure. There we go. Don't need those wires. Oh, that's a. Uh, oh, that? a wire there. Yeah, that's like. What is that? I got it. I got it. Just go ahead and do like the other ones. There we go. All right. I knew we were missing Maybe something. That piece of exhaust come disconnected over there. We sure yep. did. Pre-cut. Probably a ground somewhere that we didn't unhook. All right. Good. Good. 
Nah, it'd be better if you don't. Clear the truck. He's probably just for it. Keep going. Keep going. Just let me know when I'm clear. Alright. Keep going. You got some hoses still. Let me know when I'm clear. Alright, a little more. A little more. Alright, you should be good right there. Sam, you want this motor? <laughs> sure? Yes. <laughs> Where should I put it? You can put it in the bed of that truck. You want it in the bed of the Chevy? Yeah, just go over it. Well, All right. I don't know if you actually out. No, I can get it in the bed from here. We don't know how to pull it out. Alright. Well, I don't. <laughs> you want it in the bed? I mean. <laughs> Ideally! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it didn't even budge. <laughs> yeah? Oh! No! Oh! oh! Didn't even touch the LS, dude! Engine is still good. Let's go! I think I just <laughs> it's it perfectly in the windshield. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh. I totally forgot we might have to use that transmission. So it's still good. Well, it's fine. That is pretty funny right there. Well, at this point, all it's left to do basically is powder coat the chassis. Yeah, we got to get this thing pressure wash cleaned up. I'm really glad we put the bed back so yeah. we get access to all this. There's a lot going on. Yeah, we gotta get this muffler out. We gotta get this wiring out of the way. Get these brake lines out of the way. I want everything out of the way so we got a nice, fresh, clean start when we put that nice cab on it that's, that's resting right. right over there. So, so we'll pick up tomorrow. All right, guys. Well, day two. We gotta get this cab off of here. We gotta do it a little bit more gently than we did yeah, yesterday. Yeah, we gotta keep her clean. This thing's in good shape. Yeah. I heard there's not a dent on it. There's literally That's what I heard someone say. So we're trying to figure out a plan right now to pull this off without bending or denting it. Probably going to get at least one dent on it. We know the forklift doesn't have brakes. Yeah, so we, we just got to be smooth. And then also we have to remove everything properly yeah. or it's just going to make our job harder down the road. So I guess let's start by getting everything out of it. Getting ready to do the old Swaparuski. I'm ready. We got to get this off and then we got to get to that transmission, see if it's the same trans. Then we'll pull that transmission off and try and hook it to the big block. And that'd be good. That'd be good if it fit. <laughs> It'd be real nice if it fit. The convenience of a shyster forklift just sitting around, dude. Unbeatable. This is working out great. Drifting. Transmissions are the same. You know how much time and money that would save us? Probably a lot. Seeing as though we already blew past our budget with sawzall blades. I think it's gonna work. I think it's the same, and we're gonna be dialed. Perfect. Now we can get on both sides of it, and we're good. All right, George, do your. Uh bolts come out first try dance now they're coming out for sure dude <laughs> <laughs> they're coming out for sure get the impact you got a fresh battery on that thing yep big dog this truck's a walk in the park yeah this truck should be much much better ready yep our day <laughs> well the First bad one. part about this is those are in the good cab yeah. so we're gonna have to that's a really bad start there dude really bad start that one coming out oh all right oh this is not a good sign can you see this the rust well it's just like a four inch bolt and you only have half of it <laughs> and it's literally rusted away so there's some rust in the cab. Yeah, so putting new bolts in, we're 
We're just gonna have to weld the cab to the cast. Yeah, we can just weld the cab to the mounts. Damn. So this cab's got some rust too. Just your standard, you know, nothing. I mean, crazy. yeah, I don't think there's much you can do about that. That one come out. That's a negative. Damn. So we're one for three right now. <laughs> Whew. Not looking good. Not looking good at all. We got one bolt out of the cab. We're gonna phone a friend, see what we can figure out here. We got Derek from Vice Grip Garage here. Here we go. Hello. Hey, brother. How you doing today, feller? Good, man. How's it going? Well, it's going okay. We're wondering uh, what you'd do if only one of your six cab bolts came out on the good cab. Uh, it, it can't be tight if it's liquid. Get the gas axe out. <laughs> the gas axe. Okay. Or you can even saw, saz all the bolt in half and then just yeah. pry the cab up and then just knock the bolt up through the cab. Okay. All right. Well, brother, appreciate the advice. I guess we get the Sawzall back out and we'll just sort out the, the cab part of it later. Hey, save that old cab. It's good still. Okay. Uh, the cab, the old cab, you want me to save that? Oh yeah. It's got a lot of good parts on it. All right. We'll save that for sure. Okay. What about the engine? Is that worth anything? Oh yeah, man. That's worth some money. How much? How much money do you think it's worth? Oh, uh, two hundred bucks. It's got a quadrobog on it. Right? Yeah. Do you want to buy it right now? Make a deal over the phone. As uh, is. I'll, I'll give you. Uh, I'll give you one hundred and fifty dollars and a pair of area boots. Look. As is. As is. You. Yep. You want to wait till? I, yeah. Yeah. We'll make that deal. <laughs> don't put it outside put a tarp over it all right I'll, i can take a tarp on my ass no problem all right all right thanks Derek. Yeah. Yeah, right. well we got some budget boys <laughs> 150 bucks <laughs> go get us some sawzall blades might have lost a friendship over it but <laughs> 150 bucks is 150 bucks all right so what we're gonna have to do is go buy some sawzall blades unfortunately this cab does not want to come off just like the other one so we'll use some of our budget that we just got from Derek for that pristine engine and we'll get her going all right guys hit up the old ace hardware got me a carbide sawzall blade here we'll see if she holds up well I spent 80 bucks on sawzall oh, geez. blades but uh also our lunch bill came out to 1776 exactly no way. Tell me that's a coincidence. <laughs> it's showtime. All right, you got the radiator out. Dude, you see how mint this shifter boot is? We're going to have to keep that baby in mint condition. I don't know how we undo the clutch pedal, too, because the last one we just ripped off. But are we going to try it? We're going to try and keep this master, brake master. And, oh, that thing's pretty rough. Yeah, I thought we were. Yeah, so we just need to undo that master. Put an aftermarket rig on there. Yeah. So we just need to unhook the clutch pedal, brake master. The AC stuff's gonna probably want to go with the cab. Don't you think? Yeah, I'm unhooking it. I all. mean, we're definitely not hooking the AC back up. No. It's a Florida truck, brother. Roll That's the windows right. down. That's right. Enjoy. Unless you know, if someone wants to hook us up with one of those aftermarket AC kits, huh, you know what I'm saying? That'd be cool. You got the carbide one on there? We got the carbide. Don't tell me you blew it up already. No battery? No, she's really ripping. All right, you're done. We got four more to do after that one. Yeah, brother. Dude, George got that one done in two seconds. He's dialed. New blade made a big difference. Whoa, how are we looking? Oh, we're looking good, buddy. About through there? Well, I think we're looking good. It feels good. Hey, don't look at that rust hole right there, okay? No. Whatever you do, don't look at That's it. It'll make it worse. Hole. Probably a bolt hole. All right, guys, good news on the hydraulics. I got a company that's gonna come out and rebuild these hydraulic rams for us because they're leaking pretty bad. As you can see, we've already got a leak on the ground there. So we kind of got to overhaul the hydraulics or they're just gonna be a problem. Now our pump is good to go and we're just gonna hope that puppy survives for a while. She seems solid. Guys, your boy Squirrel is going in. We got the fourth one down, the fifth one. 
being cut out right now. Almost there, baby! Yeah, buddy! Woo. How about now? <laughs> How about now? We got us a cab. So I talked to Derek. He said, if you take a strap and you put it through the cab, it's all good. But you gotta have the door shut, which we didn't do yesterday. We put the fork right on the roof. Bad idea. Can't do that. So we got to do the strap through the doors. That's what gives it the support. And then I'm thinking we take another strap and we just do one of these jobs where we just take it, put it right here. Okay. It's pretty sturdy, you know? For sure. And that'll pick like up the that. front. You guys want to come outside and witness glory? George and I want to show you our fine work. I'm, trying to just, I'm just trying to break a sweat, so. Yeah. Gloria's kind of a good name for the show. Gloria, yeah. Gloria. <laughs> she kind of looks like a Gloria. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What you guys are going to notice about what George and I are about to do is it's going to go off without an issue. You oh, know, geez. of course. Every time we come film a start up with you guys, you know, there's lots of little issues. Not with this crew. Usually. Squirrel and I, we dialed. we dialed this puppy in. So we're locked and loaded. As you can see, the straps. Are dialed in, and uh, you guys just sit back and who's enjoy the, the show. Uh, who's the rigging engineer? I did the rigging. Okay. I did the rigging. So, Certified. you can see I got. I'm gonna let you know right. You now. guys aren't here helping. It's this not is not how I would have done it. Yeah, we know. We know. We know. Uh, I mean, that's I obvious. It's obvious. You wouldn't have the straps on it yet. Yeah, you wouldn't have the straps on it yet. Now there's a couple wires on the other side that are gonna have to be snipped. Always clear out your portland. Yep, clearing it out. They need someone's help yeah. clipping wires. Snipping wires? We really don't. Okay. They normally have plugs somewhere in there. No, nah, not on these old not bodies. This, oh, I hope we don't bend our hood. We need a vice grip hood saver. Not anymore. I'm looking, George. Wait, did I get? Keep going. This is the squirrel. Did you like get all three bolts? I'm, I'm, Keep I'm. Going. Go a little more. Oh, she's coming. Yeah. Right off. Right off. Easy peasy. Woo! Hold on, let me do an inspection pass. Wonder what that was. No, no, no. At least it's a goose. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. Wow, you know what? This is going better than I even expected. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Project Painted Glory, as you said. I'm a rabbit. Are you kidding? Oh, oh crap! <laughs> what happened? The hook came out over there. The wasn't wet, so it Did we damage anything? I don't think so. Just its feelings. This was not. Sam bad. said you're pride. <laughs> Get out of here. Wow, this is a, this is honestly an easy fix. Right, easy, easy fix. Oh, so the strap literally just came un unhooked right there. That's a, that's a crying shame. That, we cranked our interior a little bit, no big deal. I think it's pulling in on the door a little bit. Is it pulling in on your door a little bit? Nah, I don't, I, I don't think so. I think it might be over here, but. Well. No problem. I don't think it's gonna hurt it. As good as those things closed before. I mean, Derek from Vicegrip told us to do it that Right, way. so. so. He said it. Obviously, it's gonna work. All right, not hanging on that bumper, right? On the on the other side, clear on this side. It's looking pretty darn good. Oh, oh the steering. No, you it's just that? yeah, it's unhooked. It's just just about to come out though. You see it? Well, I wouldn't be careful now. I think that steering was throwing everything off. I think she's just been there for a long time. I mean, we're talking 120 years here. Oh, your shifter! That's that. Oh, that's no, hanging up. Yeah, that's hanging yeah. up in there, big time. You're about to break it. <laughs> uh, hey, try to drive in a little bit. All right, I'll drive towards the as front. much as possible. Not the shifter, dude. That thing was mint. Oh yeah, that's getting it. I mean, what are we gonna do? That shifter doesn't come out. I know. Just let her down a smidge. It's gotta be close. Well, it's not that close. I mean, I can just saw it all in, and then we can weld it back on later. Looks like it might get punched out. Look, yeah, see that hole in the side? Yeah, but that's like 
I think we that's, can't. We can't get in there at this point. We just got to send her home. We just got to cut it. Or I mean, eat that it. one's good, so we got to put that shifter on. Yeah, that one's chrome, anyways. I mean, cut that parking brake cable and right, see if it and see if it goes backwards here. No, the one next to it. That oh, one. Oh, I can play the guitar on that baby. <laughs> All right, watch out. Yeah. Oh, that was a rattlesnake for now what well we're still stuck on the shifter just give her a more a little more attention see if it goes backwards if not we'll cut it right, go yeah go up man this thing's fine a little more sounds great couple more inches there we go buddy absolutely perfect I thought I unplugged that big harness, but evidently I didn't. Oh, Definitely yeah. still plugged in. Dude, I don't know about this. About what? Oh, baby. Looking phenomenal. He's really far away. He's getting a thumbnail. Are we good? Yeah, yeah, back up. Nice and slow. Oh. Alright, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Dude, don't go under there. I'm not, I'm just reaching. This thing right here is just there we go. Alright. Oh. She's dialed. What'd that take? Two minutes? Yeah. Two minutes in a song? Take notes, boys. Take notes. All right, I'm going to go sauce out. Yeah! 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 Another squirrel, another squirrel. Dude, put it right on the chassis. <laughs> Now that we got it on the ground, I can start the paint restoration on it. Right there, perfect. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, now down. No, keep going, keep going. Oh, yeah. Buddy! Ready down? She's there. She is there. Yeah, no did. damage. Oh, no, crap, we dude. Should damage it. We should use a wider strap. <laughs> the window might not shut oh, down. Well, that's why we didn't put AC in it. So. Well, damn it, man. All right. We could fix that, probably. We could probably fix that. All right. All in all, still not a dent on the cab. Dent on the door. Yep. We'll stick a flathead in there, widen her out a little bit. Door. It's not even a dent, it's a dude, crease. Not much of this is going to matter when there's a sick wrap on this thing, dude. You won't even look at the top of the door. So if you come to the Freedom Factory April 5th, 6th, don't even stare at our doors. <laughs> They're going to be like the the last thing you look at when everything else looks so damn good. You know what I mean? When you hear that 632 yeah. and they're just beating You're up the ground. Dang, baby, you hear that thing? And the last thing you'll be looking at is the door. Oh, let's look at this transmission. Is this the same one? Oh, yeah, we didn't even check her out. If it is, it's probably, it's probably oh, not 100% the same transmission. Oh, yeah. 100% the same one. Yeah, big plate on the side. Oh, it's there? got the block off panel for the PTO. Perfect. Fire out. Oh. Safe to say, we are good. First, second, third, fourth, reverse. <laughs> All right, folks. We've got a lot to do to finish this thing up. Next video. We gotta clean the chassis. We talked to Holly about a front accessory drive for the big block, and we're gonna try and put that transmission on the big block, which we're really hoping that bell housing fits. 
Not sure about the clutch yet. So the plan is on the next video, we gotta clean the chassis, paint it. We gotta put the engine and transmission on it, see what works and what does not work. Then we're gonna put the cab on, get it wrapped, and the tow truck should be done. It's that easy. When Clear and Squirrel are on the job, it gets done in absolutely no time at all, and the work is top notch, as you've seen. So guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later. Real quick, before the end of the video, guys, I wanna give a shout out to SQ Motorsports, who's the guy I bought the rollback donor truck from. He drove it all the way down to Bradenton for me years ago, and I forgot to plug him. So shout out to SQ Motorsports, hit him up, if you need a square body, maybe he can find one for you too.